Yo bingers, welcome back, thanks for clicking. We're gonna take another look at this DC's Star Spangled War Stories number 199, the second story in the back. But before that, I wanna talk to you about a couple things like this YouTube channel, what's going on here. Now I know I don't have that many subscribers and pretty much nobody watches the videos. But if in any way or any form, this channel gets to the point where it has enough subscribers where it can get monetized, it will not. And if there's any way that I can ever avoid having ads run before, during, or after my videos, I will stop that from happening. Also, if I ever get to the point where I can live stream and you can disable Super Chats, I will disable Super Chats because I no, uh nothing against the people who do that, but that ain't my cup of tea. Alright, also... I, you know, can't help but notice that a lot of successful YouTube channels have mascots. Uh, usually some type of toy, like a stuffed animal or action figure. The biggest example I can think of is JonTron. He had like a, a parrot or a cockatiel or some big talk of bird, something like that. And then our own Ash on Comics, he has a, a Funko Pop of Stan Lee, which I guess if you're going to have a Funko Pop, Stan Lee is the one to have. But, um... I don't have any Funko Pops, but I did go looking around the house, and I did find something. I, I got somebody here. So, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, bingers from around the globe, may I introduce everybody to Chuck. Chuck, say hi to everybody. Chuck is a good family friend. I've known him for at least 30 years, and he's never gone off on me. All right? So, there you go. Also, I want to say, now, they don't sponsor the... Ch the channel, but the back issue binge supports and sponsors Wade's Comic Madness over there on New Falls Road in Levittown. That's where this back issue comic was purchased. And every Saturday night, usually around 8 ish, he'll post sometimes a little earlier. He has a silent auction. And if you don't live in the area, you can call in. The silent auction ends. At 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, but before then you can call in, put in your bids, and they ship international. So, there you go. You can't get good, good comics someplace else, check out Wade's Comic Madness. They're not on Twitter too much, but check them out on Facebook. That's where they post their videos. Alright, without any further delay, on to our comic story. Memory. Human feet, yours and his, rushing down the corridor, smooth, polished walls and floors, no rubble, yet. True human eyes focusing upon a heavy metal door, slightly ajar, a feeling in the pit of a stomach that no longer exists, and the sight of your own hand, human hand, poised about to knock when, it's open boys, come on in. You want to see us, General? I'll put it to you straight, fellas. The boys upstairs have decided that your prototypes of the TDM should be put into service immediately. Creator and creation become one, for this is the ultimate weapon in the final war, and you're about to see it all through the eyes of an unwilling, killing machine. A plot by David McAleen, words by Steve Skeets, and artwork by Tenny Henson. In addition, they will like the two of you to man the vehicles. What? Your mind reeling with the shock while the general continues to speak. They would appreciate it that the two of you would volunteer so that they won't have to make it an order. Volunteer? I'll do more than that, general. I'll win this war for us. That's what I like to hear. A moment of silence as the general waits for you to speak. Then the inevitable prod. Mitchell? Give me a chance to catch my breath, general. I mean, you are asking quite a lot. The idea of becoming a killing machine may appeal to Bernson, but me? I'd much rather go on living in this body, no matter how worn out it's become while I've been working on this project. I'm still rather fond of it. Still, I have to admit that Bernson and I are the logical choice. Good. It's settled. I'll inform the commander immediately. The present. You recoil with disgust as your mechanical eyes fall upon the death and the dying all about you. Disgust, a strange emotion for a machine to experience, yet that's exactly what, what you are now, Dr. David Mitchell. The X-11 prototype TDM, a machine, only a machine. 
bitch in artwork. Yet, as far as machines go, the TDM is not just another machine. The total destruction machine. It is the ultimate killing machine. The ultimate weapon. And you should know, after all, you created it. You and Bernson. The TDM, a machine run by computers so sophisticated that there is only one thing that control and coordinate its functions. A transplanted human brain. And you and Bernson were chosen to be the brains for the two prototypes of this tremendously destructive weapon. Crazy! You hate what your life has become, Bernson. Bernson, the X-12, though, feels quite a bit differently. He enjoys the slaughter. He enjoys what he's become. Ah! Days, weeks, and months pass, and the TDMs proved to be a tremendous success. Other TDMs are built, and you return to the base to train these new machines, while Bernson remains on the front and continues to fight the enemy. <laughs> the war goes well for Bernson and the others, until the enemy introduces his own version of the TDM. <laughs> the resulting chaos all but destroys the world, and now you tread aimlessly through the ruins left by this war. I looked everywhere, no sign of anything else left alive. I'm the only one left. It's nearly funny. The only piece of humanity left in the left is this human brain. A brain encased in the metal shell of this destructive device. Man's <laughs> Man's greatest creation. But no, you are not alone. Another, and judging from its frontal markings, is from our side. Must try to communicate. Greetings, I am the X-11 prototype TDM, and I was... <laughs> what? Firing at me? Its visual and audio scanners must be out of commission. Don't want to fight. Sick of all the fighting, all the dying, all the meaningless destruction. <laughs> But he's still firing, getting closer with each shot. Gotta fight back to protect myself. Whereas he was firing aimlessly, you took good aim and do your job well. The last job you'll ever do. Bzzzam! Dead. Nothing could have survived that. Not even a TDM. It's too bad. In a way, I thought before I was the only thing left. Now I am almost certain of it. Too bad Bernson can't see me now. That loudmouth warmonger. I'm certain you would never have figured I'd be the only one to survive. And thus you depart unaware of the irony locked within your thoughts. Thus you depart alone. Dun dun dun. Now of course that wasn't too outrageous of a twist, but this whole concept of transplanting human brains and putting them in these tanks with uh, laser guns on them, or whatever is going on, I think that's pretty crazy in, in how they just destroy the whole, you know, global civilization. All right, we got a little bit of time. Let's do ads. Ba -na 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 Batman and the Twinkieless Gotham City. Rah, rah, I'll ruin this town. Rah, rah, Gotham City will be Twinkieless. I have ordered all the Twinkies by hypnotizing the Twinkies delivery men. Rah, rah. Batman, this is terrible. All the hoses Twinkies have disappeared from Gotham City. We need your help desperately. Emergency, Robin. Get to the Batmobile. My seatbelt's as good as fastened. Who do you think would be so foul as to do such a dastardly trick, Batman? No fiend would be so foul except... Yes! The Penguin. <laughs> penguin! Release the Twinkies delivery men from their spell. Right, never. No one will ever get any Twinkies. Wah, wah. Including at the prison where you'll be. Please tell them I've got to have my Twinkies golden sponge cake with creamy filling inside. What could be more delicious than a host of Twinkie? Except more Twinkies. Rah, ah, let me go. Okay, okay. <laughs> you get a big delight in every bite of Hostess Twinkies. All right. Oh, and if you guys haven't clicked on the video where I talk about this story, the crime of Sergeant Shep. Uh, go back and watch that, man. It's a beauty. This is an awesome story with awesome artwork. All right, everybody. Uh, chuck their grenade. We'd like to say goodbye to everybody. Remember Wade's Comic Madness.
There, New Falls Road, Levittown, PA, phone number 215-946-9381. The spell is 215. Wet one. And until next time, I'll see you in the back issues.